first thing we want to do is sorry about the train but uh first thing i want to do is pull the valve block off Nothing wrong with that gasket. These aren't like your, a lot of you guys are automotive guys and I'm not disparaging your stuff, but this ain't like those cheap aluminum piece of shit automatic transmissions in a car. Everything here is cast iron, it's heavy. Stuff doesn't warp and move around and you know, like that aluminum junk does on them cars. It, you don't rarely, you rarely see valve body gaskets. I mean, Don Deere's got some aluminum front covers they've been putting on their IVTs and they've been having problems with them. I, I, I can't stand that aluminum junk. Too light, too light duty. This stuff here, you hardly ever have any troubles with it. Okay. I'm gonna pull the yokes off now. Input and output yoke. Man, I don't know about this new impact. I might be turning this one back in. Oh, wait. Set on three. Okay. I have <laughs> I was about to start cussing this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go find that damn dog. Get a rubber mallet, or maybe, eh, you could probably hit it with this hammer here. It wouldn't hurt anything, I don't think. Okay. We got a bunch of O-rings back in here. Let me see if the two are, that I'm not seeing there, let's see if they're still on the bell housing, you guys. These are all seals here. All right, what do we got going on here? Are they on there? Yeah, they were on there. 
that'll be getting new o-rings so i don't see anything wrong with those okay charge pump 13 millimeter for that and then we gotta pull this 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 nut is staked on here i don't know if we well, let me see here spot here make sure my lens has got a bunch of mechanics fingerprints all over it all right that's your mechanical front wheel drive clutch pack Put the case on it now. See what we got. I'm looking for my impact wrench. I laid down here somewhere. Yeah. There I have an extension. I need to pop that charge pump off of there real quick too. Seeing a discolored drum here. Oh. <coughs> Let's see, what do you got going on here? What are you doing, Jimmy? Ah. Okay, well, I can already see a burnt clutch right here, right in here. Okay, well, let's see, let's get the bearing race off. Got to get the bearing off now. All right, guys, I got that bearing Habit of doing that and checking that every time. I go home to edit some of these. And go, Holy shit, you can't see it. I'm on my shit can the whole damn video. Anyways, took a knife edge bearing spreader and put it on this tapered bearing. And 
went over the press, pushed that off. So now we're flat gear off. You get these JCBs, they like using these needle bearings in between the uh, gears. So you gotta look at the uh, needle bearings. There'll be uh, one here that goes inside the gear. Yep, they really like to use them on these. Alright, big snap ring pliers. And yes, Bill, I used your bearing spreader that you give me for this. Worked out slicker than hell. Well, I need internal, internal snap ring pliers. This would be these right here. Okay, let's uh, see what we got here. Spacers over down on the bottom. I think they go right up against it. Yeah, they go right up against that snap ring. Let's see what we got going on here. Looks like most is that one warped or is it a kind of a wave spring? Looks like it's kind of a wave spring. That one's burnt. I don't know if you can see that. See the this side? See that side? It's burnt. See this one here? No friction material left at all on it. Completely gone. Same thing with this one. No frictions, no friction at all on it anymore. Completely gone. Same thing with that one. It's got a touch of it on that side, but other than that, it's pretty well gone. Okay. So I'm kind of wondering if this clutch piston seal went bad. That's what I'm really wondering now. What's this other end going to look like? One end's going to be the high ratio, and one end's going to be obviously that's the high ratio, the one we were having problems with. These are scarf cut seals in here, which I can't get them off because of my gloves. I'm going to get a pick or something and get in there, but. I'm not gonna say I told you so. I I know what happened to this thing. When it was locking up, those were welded together. Those were welded together and stuck together, and they, then they unstuck on me is what happened. Man, I'm gonna get my, uh, kinda wondering on this other packs, is there anything obvious -y? You can look through the holes in the clutch drum here and you can tell whether you've got problems or not. I don't really see anything burnt on this drum here. I don't know if it's the way this drum's made. It just looks discolored. But I don't see any burnt. I don't see nothing burnt in that one. I think we found our problem, child.
and I don't see anything burnt on this one either. But we'll take them all apart and rebuild it. We got to get this clutch piston out. See what's going on. I just knew what was going on when I when it was locking up like that. I just had so many power shift transmissions. Hell, I've had automatics and cars do that. I've had a, a forward clutch pack and a, a forward a directional pack uh, slip, and you know it was fine going forward. But as soon as soon as it went the reverse, it just stall the stall out and die because it is trying to go both directions at one time. It didn't work. So let me figure out what I'm going to do here. See if I've got a. I should have something made for that because I've done one of these before. Okay, so which hole do I need to? Ah, oh, it's that one right there. I don't see nothing wrong with the external seal on it. Just wear out. Where was all our pressure going? That's what I'm not quite certain about. What is the, there's an O-ring on the shaft. Well, I don't see anything wrong there. Must have just lost your friction material and got worn out. I wonder if I was on the wrong damn test port on the uh, on that because it would labor. But you know you you don't know if it because it's engaging two packs. It's going to engage the, the directional pack and then what I call a speed pack on the lay shaft or the main shaft. So it labored, but you know is it? I don't know. I'm going to go look in that book a little bit further. I'd kind of like to know exactly, because I don't see anything wrong with the clutch piston there. Is there, sometimes there's a return check. There's a check in these pistons too, or a bleed, kind of a bleed check in them. You can kind of see it right there. See that little ball right there? Blow that, make sure it moves. I mean, I don't even see the drum really didn't even get that hot. Okay, so let's move in there. Okay, it's working. We don't got something going on like a crack drum or something like that, do we? Boy, it sure doesn't seem. Wait a second. Looks pretty good. Everything looks good there. Well, I'm going to look in the book there and make sure maybe I was on the wrong damn test port. I mean, how about these ceiling rings on the end of the shaft? Are they all... Those all look really good. Maybe I was on the wrong test port. That might have been it. Well, so the oil for that, that is, uh, that's the pack right there. That's the input forward pack. And the one on that end, that's the high ratio pack. So we, 
We've got the right pack uh, that failed. So the oil is going to come through this second hole right here, through your 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 valve block. Maybe I'll look at that a little bit closer too tomorrow. One thing about it, you can air check it. You can stuck your shafts down in the case when you get done. Okay, so this hole here, because this port down here on the bottom, you can, well, you can't really see it, but I, I can see my finger through it here. That's that's the port, and that's the right one. I was on the right one, so I put air in here, and that comes into this top notch, top hole, right here, which is going to be this hole on the shaft. See that hole? Well, it's going to be. It's gonna be that hole right there. And then it comes out that hole to pressurize that clutch piston. And I put air through there and that all seemed fine. So, you know, I don't see any evidence of a cracked drum. So I'm not really sure why was I not seeing pressure on that gauge when I was on that with no seals blown or anything. Something's goofy here. Not sure what's going on yet, but I do know this pack. I mean, I'll order new, you know, steels and frictions and all that stuff and um, new seals and everything. I mean, was this clutch piston? I mean, is it cracked somewhere and I'm just not seeing it? I've seen some aluminum pistons crack before and really throw you off. Well, I can tell you one thing. When you go back together with really air check it, and I probably should have air checked the damn thing before I even tore it apart. But anyway, huh? I'll keep you updated on this. I'm going to go home.